All right, folks, welcome back to our FM 2020 Newcastle United save. We're going to win something with Newcastle United. That's the aim. So last time I left you, we'd been humiliated at the hands of Southampton. The boys taking a hit to their confidence, and we followed this up with a terrible performance and a 2-0 loss to West Ham. Here, Anderson to Haller, outside the box, smashes the ball in the bottom corner. We were, we were pants. We were so pants. Here, Masuaku picks out Felipe Anderson, drills one in. Keeper's nowhere. Defense is nowhere. We need to tighten up a little bit. This was followed by Norwich, who will also be today's opponent in the cup. This was a horrifically irritating game. We played quite well. Here, from a corner, Amaron picks out Shaw, bangs one in for his great. We played so well. 94th minute. What has gone on with my corner instructions here, I do not know. We're well, 1 0 up, 94th minute. We've got one man back for corners against three. For some reason, back if needed does not seem to apply to my incredibly adventurous Newcastle team. Guess what happens next? Pick out Pacey Boy, Ida here. Burns through, smashes it past the keeper. One all, 94th minute conceding of a goal. Gutted, gutted for the lads. Not good. Look at this boy, he's 19 year old pacey boy. Boh, so fast. Still struggling for goals up front. Guys at the back, generally helping us out, chipping in with goals here and there. So this then brings us on to the next match, Sheffield United. We went behind early on here. Robertson. Look how everybody is so far back here. Picks out Fleck at the, at the top of the thing. So many goals from that sort of position, just top of the box, smashing it in. Maybe we're dropping off too much. Um, yeah, something that needs to be done there. But... Manquillo making up for his previous mistakes in that last goal picks out Hayden who again edge of the box smashes one in Not long from then Manquillo again picks out St. Maximan this time Maximan smashes one in we're 2-1 up here Coming up to half time free kick Siganov playing out the left picks out Onguene 3-1 happy days we're playing brilliant This is the 85th minute after 85 minutes, we're set to have like a slightly more conservative defensive stance um, to see out the game. This is not the case here. This doesn't work for whatever reason. They're break on it, breaking on us. Robinson, rebound. Freeman, in acres of space, slots it past Darlow. 88th minute. Would you believe it? McBurney to Baldock. Baldock crosses in. Freeman is picked out in the middle again. He's marked this time. Bangs went in. From 3 all, we are lucky to get away with a draw. We could have lost this game. Criminal. Just criminal. Siganov played brilliantly. Uh, gets four key passes and assist. Mankio gets two assists. He played very well. Not enough. Not enough points we've taken there. Everything was going swimmingly. Southampton has really rocked us. We're struggling to get back in the game. The problem with this is we've got hard fixtures. Again, mirroring the start of the season. We've got hard fixtures coming up towards the end. As you can see, Everton, Arsenal City, Wolves, Liverpool, Leicester, Chelsea, Man United, Brighton. We're sitting in 14th. We've got 30 points. Still a bit of a way to go to avoid relegation. Would like to be pushing up there higher, but hard matches coming up, especially with our current form. But we can forget that all today. Today is all about the cup. And we are playing Norwich City. A team who we should have beaten earlier. But we conceded that late goal to. So it's time for semi-revenge. So. Try and deal with these goals from outside the area. And just having too much space just in that midfield in front of the defence. We're going to get the defence to play a slightly higher line. We're going to try and use the tighter marking. Uh, try and not give them as much space. Reasonable pressing intensity. Keep them. 
keep the team honest. Hopefully this will help the situation. So in terms of the team, we're going to play Hayden and Shelby. I want Shelby's passing ability and creation uh, to help us score some goals. Siginov on the left had a great game. Similarly, we've got Muto who's in great form at the moment. And we've also got Terrier who's coming back from injury but has been playing really well. So we've got good options in the midfield. Need more goals from our striker. But we're sticking with Jolinton, who's got a huge five Premier League goals this season. Um, and then at the back, we're switching back to Dubravka. Neither of them have impressed. Can we... Oh, no, we can't really inspire him anymore. Um, but that's it. Bring it on, Norwich. Bring it on. What is this? Another takeover. We've just been taken over. I hope these rumours are not to be believed. Yes. Right. Thankfully Norwich are playing their pacey boy. It's Pookie off behind Campwell Roberts. We can take these. We're at home. We can take these boys. Give these fans a performance they're expecting of us. That'll do. Right. Here we go. Ooh, early corner for Norwich. I'm scared of our pay, our height. Definitely going to invest in better defenders. Aaron's picks up Roberts. Amadou. Oh, they're passing it around nicely here. It's ominous. It's a right old passing move. Pookie through. Roberts shoots from miles away, skims the top of the bar. We are not getting hold of the ball. We got 27% possession after 10 minutes. Come on now, boys. Almiron is complacent after 10 minutes, considering we've not seen any ball. It's a nervy game. Not much in the highlight reel. Anybody? Anybody want to make something happen? 30 minutes gone. Nothing. Well... It's a nervy job. Still 33% possession. Let's just have a look at this for a second. There we go. I mean, they are ramming the midfield tight. As are we. It's a battle for space. Our pass completion is low. Well, yeah, this is a... Uh, I'm not happy with your performance out there. Armoron's looking worried, but... Uh, Let's get Joe Linton. You've got to be the ability to be the distant difference tonight. Mm. Tell him. Nope. Amaron's totally shot for confidence. It's a job for Terrier then, I think. Who's not? Let's have a look. Absolutely nothing happening. Newcastle stats. Signal having a terrible time of it. Almiron looking complacent. We're going to bring Terrier on for Almiron and have him play a bit more in the middle. Try and actually get hold of this ball a bit more rather than being a second striker. Ooh, we've got a free kick. Come on, Siganov. Back post. Ungueme. What? Oh, we'd nodded the ball in already. Penalty. Oof. Come on now, John Joe. Is that John Joe? It's usually Shaw. Come on, John Joe. Straight down the middle. Come on. Fifth goal of the season. Kind of scared he's on a yellow card. Do we trust John Joe Shelby? Ooh, nice little replay. Blast it down the middle under the keeper's right arm. Lovely. Good job we kept Siganov on there. I could have got rid of him. Oh, dear. Maxima loses the ball. No, we've got it back. He's doing his thing. Legs is running. Passing the ball around nice and steady. Maxima beats his man. Drives. Come on, Legs. Smashes it against the keeper from an arrow To Joe Linton. Picks out Hayden. Mankio, go on, Mankio. Do some. Back to Hayden. Picks out Siganov, who nods it back to Williams. Oh, dear. Williams tries to keep the ball in. Gives it away to Roberts. Roberts puts it over the bar. Ooh. A bit unnecessary there, boys. As usual, Joe Linton is having a stormer. Let's just have a look at the old match stats. Mm. 
Yeah, still struggling to get hold of that ball. Gillington's only seen the ball eight times. Right. If we've got to keep them honest, do we bring Gale on? Or do we bring a Muto up front, maybe? Let's do that. Muto. Have a stint up front, lad. Advance forward. Attack. Lead the line. Show us what you've got. We might bring Shelby off if we need to shore ourselves up. Look at this. 37% possession is criminal. Siganov, Williams passing it around. Smashes one forward. Go on, Muta. Nope, nobody. Nobody can get there in time. We're a bit open. Mankio cuts out the ball. Hayden gives it away. Oh no. Emmy's just. Emmy has just run around our defence. Right. Since we're giving the ball away so much, let's. Let's up the tempo and pass it forward a bit more direct and see what we can do with that. Bit more urgency. No point faffing around with the ball if we can't make the passes. Thank you to Shelby. Shelby back to Terrier. Siganov. Go somebody. Somebody make a pass though. Go on. Find Muto. Anybody. Fi oh my word, Shelby just boots it out of play. Shelby is having a good... oh no, Hayden's been injured. That solves our... Oh, do we bring on Green Mars? No. Longstaff is the man. Losing this midfield battle. Get out there. So this is ominous. Williams loses the ball to Roberts. Oh, outside the box to a goal. Anything, anything from around those corners. Oh. I don't know how to stop it at the moment. Uh, oh, no, I can't. It's going to be Gale for Hayden. Deep line forward. Deep line playmaker there. Wing backs attack. Wing rack attack. Let's get this going, guys. Come on, you've got five minutes to save our FA Cup season. Or create anything for us. No, that's not going to happen, is it? Giving the ball away. I feel like the epiphany I had where we've gone to shorter passing and we started winning games has worn off instantly. After that drubbing by Southampton, we have just been on a down spiral and 39% possession at home is criminal against Norwich. Emil Buenda with two. Is he even... Good mentals. He's only got 11 finishing, but you know, if you could land in that magic spot just outside the box. It's goal-tastic. Well, we're out of the FA Cup. That's a shame. We'll tell the boys that was not good enough. So, where does that leave us? Well, we've got three... Four, seven. We've got ten games to go to the end of the season. Uh, difficult games coming along. We are gonna. I don't want to say go back to the drawing board because I've done this a number of times as we've had ups and downs throughout the season. But we look at what we can introduce to try and get a bit of oomph. Just nobody outstanding at the moment. Yes. Anyway, we will think about this and uh, get back to you soon. I think we will come with probably a home game against Wolves at the start of April for our next update. See how we're doing, see where we stand. Uh, and yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. 
keep the faith keep the faith i think is the message and we'll see you next time folks catch you later